So have you ever heard of Kodi? Kodi's been around for a long time, going back to the days of XBMC, Xbox Media Center. I'm going to show you how to install the latest version of Kodi. Uh, for those who don't know what Kodi is, it's a media player. Um, media player where you can run your own media. You can almost use it as your own interface. So you could actually have it like a bit like a launcher if you wanted to, where you can access your own media, your movies, your TV shows, your apps, even games, all in one place. And we're going to show you how to install the latest version onto, I'm going to demonstrate on a Fire Stick. The process is very similar on all devices. If you want to do it on your mobile phone, you can just follow the link underneath this video. Okay, before we get started, if you are into your streaming, I would recommend maybe checking out my channel, hit that follow button, maybe subscribe, it's free, and we bring you everything regarding free streaming, movies, TV shows, and trying to keep you safe online at the same time. Okay, so we're going to go fairly slowly through this. Um, those who know how it's done, you wouldn't need my video anyway, but for everybody else, we're going to get this app called Downloader. So you're going to go to the magnifying glass, and you're going to type in here, guess what? Downloader. D-O-W-N-L-O-A-D-E-R. Downloader. You're going to click that, and you're going to get it installed. It's going to take a little bit of time to install. It will just download. But once it's installed, do not open it yet. What we need to do from here is push the home button and then go all the way along to your settings. And then you want My Fire TV and you want the developer options. If you do not see developer options, do not panic. All you need to do is click on where it says about and then click the top selection seven times. One, two, you'll see mine says there, no need, you're already a developer. You do that one seven times, and then you will see these developer options when you go back. You can click that, open it. You're going to turn on ADV debugging, and you're going to click on install unknown apps, and you're going to turn it on for downloader. Okay, get that turned on for downloader. Now it's ready to install those apps from an external source. Okay, if you go into an external source, would recommend having your VPN on. I have mine on all the time. If you need one of those, also linked underneath, and I'll explain more about that at the end of the video. Right. Now we need to find this downloader app. So you're going to go across to the three squares and the plus. You're going to go to my apps. And then from here, you're going to go down and find downloader. Yours is probably at the bottom. If not, you've got the top one here. Just looks exactly like that. You click it, you open it, and you need to accept the permissions it asks as loading up. If you do not, this process will not work. The permissions ask for access to your um, files. That means it can store what you're downloading. It needs that so it can save the application you're about to download to your device. Okay. Then in here, we're going to type 75726. You can then click go. And this will load up my downloads page for you. Shouldn't take too long. If you are waiting, it's a good time to drop me a comment. Let me know if you've been an avid user of Kodi in the past or whether you've not used it for a while. Brilliant. Once here, we can scroll down. And for you guys, I've put it at the top. So you've got new updates and new APKs. If you don't find it here, just scroll down further on the page and you will find it. There's two versions. Uh, the top version is your main one for a Fire Stick, an Android box, Fire TV, um, most well, probably your mobile phone as well. The second version is more for Android TV devices like NVIDIA Shield, a bit more high-end processing. So we click the top one. If an ad does pop up, we click close. And then we can scroll down. And what we'll see as you scroll down is a big download button. So you can click on that download button and that will download this application for us. There's other apps on that page as well. So remember that code. We then click install and then you click on done. You do not open it yet because we need to delete this file. This file is just a download install file. Um, it's not the application itself. So once you've got it installed, you can delete it because we don't want it taking up valuable space on our devices, especially if they run low on storage. Okay, now back to the home screen. So you push your home button on your remote and we will find that app we just downloaded. So again, if you go to the three squares and the plus, my apps, in here you will find it. 
most likely at the bottom. Um, if it's a brand new install, mine is here. And we open this up. And again, this is one it will ask for permissions. It is best for you to accept them because obviously if you're going to want it to access your media, you will need it to be accepted. And there we go, Kodi version 21.2 Omega. This is the latest version as I'm making this video, but that process will be the same no matter which version is released because I'll keep it updated online. So this is Kodi. It's your media system, your media player. You can get add-ons for it. You can add your own movies, TV shows, music. You can get radio on there. You can get, obviously, videos on there. You can get video add-ons if you had any. Um, you would go in there for them. You can find your own ones if you want to. There's tons and tons of stuff you can get here. Just all on one device. You know, you can search your local libraries. If you had nothing, you can search YouTube. You can add your own stuff. It should show my applications, which are already on my Fire Stick, which you can open from here as well. You can install from repos or zip files. Um, there's loads of guides online about how to use Kodi. Um, obviously, I'm not here to show you how to get unauthorized access to content. This is how to get the media player. Kodi Media Player is also one of the best video players out there. So whenever you're using certain apps, you can select Kodi as your media player because it has a lot more stuff in it to make videos and streams work better. Okay, so where some people might use MX Player or VLC, Kodi is one of the best players you can use as well. So that is a big bonus. Brilliant. And that is how you get it installed. Obviously, like I say, you should have your VPN on when you're installing. Even from my website, anything online, it's worth having a VPN turned on for your own safety because you don't want anyone tracking you. You want a no logs policy. Um, the good thing about IP vanishes is 140 plus locations. So you can use it anywhere around the world and you can also move yourself around the world without traveling like a virtual holiday. So if you are on holiday in Spain and you wanted to watch your normal UK TV, you can change to a UK server and you'll be able to watch it, which makes it nice and simple for you to be able to do it and stay secure. Secure access to media, no data tra uh, transfer caps, uh, multiple connections. You can actually use this on unlimited amount of devices once you've done it once, once you've signed up. That is linked underneath. We are partnered with them, so we would appreciate if you use our link. It does help support the channel. Um, and thanks for you guys. Because of that partnership, we can get you 83% off as well. So it's as little as about $2 a month. Really cheap. Um, if you're obviously in other currencies, it will change if you follow the link there for you. Perfect. I've been Doc Squiffy. Do check out the rest of the channel. We have got how to stream certain sports. Um, we'll be doing stuff for Champions League and tennis throughout the rest of the week. Um, and we've got some Roku stuff coming as well. So stay tuned. Hit follow and I'll see you soon.